So we're going to, anyone watching from home, I want you all to press pause on the video and just read this highlighted uh, part. Now, can we all see that, by the way? You can all see that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so anyone watching from home, pr please press pause. And I think, I think as students here, we've all read that, right? So now I'm going to get down to the graph and I'm just going to pick off point by point until with this finally sinks in. So I'm going to take the 11th of March, 2004. I'm sorry if it's a little blurry, but so you can all see 11th of March, 2004. Can you all see that? Right. So that corresponds to about 150. Okay. Doesn't it? About there. You all okay with that? So what that means is 150 days ago, the blogosphere was half as much as it is on the 11th of March, 2004. In other words, it took 150 days for the blogosphere amount of blogs in the world to double. In other words, okay, 150 days is about about five months ago, right? So maybe back in, I don't know, what's March subtract five months, you get to, uh, what's that, November or October, let's say. Um, November, November, November. Okay, get back to, so b back in October 2003, there were half as many blogs as there are in March 2004. Are we clear on that? Clear as mud, right? Let me try another one. Um, let's take um, the, I'm going to take the 11th of January, 2005. Okay. So if I take that and I go up here and it's about 200. Estimates about 200, isn't it? What that means is days, 200 days, 11th of January, 2005. That means that it took 200 days for the number of blogs to double, right? In other words, 200 days before January 5th, there was half as many blogs as there were on January 5th. In other words, and I don't know how many there was, but let's say there was like one um, million, right? One million, I'll do a big M, one million blogs on uh, January, right? That means that 200 days ago, there was half a million. Does that make sense? Are we clear on that? Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> and the weird thing is that this graph is going up and we think, oh, more growth, more growth. Not so, because look, look, what's this? Look, I'll do another one. I'll do another one. So. Um, um, yeah, I'm a bad teacher. Like, like my, my go-to is just to keep doing examples until it finally sinks in. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> but um, let's try this. But um, so let's take July 2003. July 2003, and it's about 50, okay, on the graph, right? So 50 days ago from July 2003, there was half as many blogs. In other words, it took 50 days up until July 2003 to double the amount of blogs. So when this particular graph is down, that means that so 50 days ago it was half faster. Of what it is it? So that's the weird thing about this graph is when when this what the when the graph is down here, that means the gra the growth of blogosphere is faster than when the graph is up here. So it's a crazy graph, right? Anyway. Uh, I get it now. <laughs> you get it. You get it? I get it now. Okay. There's less days. <laughs> right. There's okay, less days. I, I, I'll probably just bore you guys doing another one. I better stop. Let me, let me see if we can answer the question then. So where is the question? Is that like on the next page? <laughs> I don't know. It's on the next page. Yeah. It is. Gosh. 
frustrating. Oh, I've got to get rid of those annotations. <laughs> uh, clear. I bet that'll do it. Clear all drawings. Done. Right. Okay. So, so the caption on the graph says that since March 2004, the number of blogs has been doubling every five to seven months. Explain how this can be determined from the graph. Can we answer that? So that's 13, right? Doubling every five to seven months since March 2004. Um, okay, so what does that mean? Um, uh, somebody else could, if anyone else wants to jump in and explain it, by all means. Otherwise, I will. Ooh, let me get that graph again. Okay, so that's so. Does anyone explain question thirteen then, or? By the way, just write down, could you all calculate how many how many uh, days in five months and how many days in seven months? Let's do that. So like five times is about 30 days in a month, right? About So five times 30 is 150, right? And what's seven times 30? 10. All right, there we go. Okay. So, so that's five months is now converted into 150 days. You all okay with that? And seven months is converted into about 100 or 270 day, 271 or 210 days. You all okay with that? Right. So, so March 2004 is. Oh, come back. March 2004 is here, right? That's that point. It's about here, right? It's about here, right? Since March 2004 means all of these dates above because it's like 2004, 2005, 2006, right? So since then, our blogosphere growth is between 150 and 200 days or, or about 210 days actually up here, right? So what it's saying is, um, you know, it's doubling every five to seven months, every 150 to 210 days. Are we all okay with that? I'm going to take that as a yes. Yeah? No? Any questions? I'm okay with that. Cool. All right. Um, let's, uh, let's see. Knock that off again. I have to go to the next question. This is a bit tedious. Sorry, everybody. We'll get there. Um, question 14. Between July and March, the graph is increasing. What does this say about the percentage rate of growth in the number of blogs? Da, da, da. Everyone take it just a few minutes and try to answer that. Between July and March, the graph is increasing. What does this say about the percentage rate of growth in the number of blogs? Or no, just think about the growth of the blogs, basically. Don't worry about percentage for now. It doesn't matter. It's just the, what does it say about the growth of the blogs? Let's see. There wasn't any, really. Well, now, it, okay, so this is between uh, May, and so we're looking at between this point, right, May, it's about 50, right, and March, wasn't it, about 150? Oh, okay, the 404, oh, four. okay, so, gotcha. So we started it where this number was 50 days, and this is 150 days. And between May and March, it went like that. And our Wait. graph goes up. But what is this saying about the growth of the blogs? I, I answered the percentage growth continued to increase exponentially. Okay. Anybody else? It's a tricky one. It's it's like a trick question, basically. It's it's not easy. It's not. That's, it's ten, not that's ten months, and if it's double, yeah. yeah. So. so so 
In May, it only took 50 days to double. Right. In March, it took 150 days to double. Huh. So it's actually, yeah. In November, it took 100 days to double. Like, where... Tell me, my question so is this, is it, is it growing faster, was it growing faster in May or was it growing faster in March? May. Why is that? Because shorter days, not as many days as it took to, to double, double versus, yeah. Uh, isn't it crazy? You know what we just want to do? Like, like you're, this is just driving me crazy. So, so the answer is then the growth is actually decreasing, right? Yes. Even th when this graph goes up, that means the growth is decreasing. And when this graph goes down, that means the growth is increasing. How crazy is that? So that's increasing growth, and this is actually decreasing growth. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's ass backwards. <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah, and it's frustrating. What, what it makes you want to do is just Google blogosphere growth and just see an actual graph in real life. Um, growth. Uh, there's got to be a graph online somewhere, surely. Uh, clear that. Uh, go away, go away, go away. Images. Oh. So, so that's what it actually looks like. It's going up, right? Basically, right? It's always going up. It's just sometimes it's going faster than other times. Oh, look, they've got this doubling thing. Again, I don't want a doubling graph. I want an actual graph that shows the actual amount of blogs. Um, oh, gosh, and I can't find one. But, but the blogs are going up. Um, oh, there we go. Blog traffic. Beautiful. Right? So, so this is what we're looking at, right? So the blogs are always going up. But it's just that sometimes they're going up faster than others, right? Um, so, for example, going from, you know, 60 to 180, that's like three times the amount in one year, 2010 to 2011. But 2011 to 2012 is only about double. That's 180 to 300. That's less than double. Does that make sense? So it grew more from 2010 to 2011 than it did from 2011 to 2012, right? Make sense? Mm -hmm. okay. Um, and so, so, last, so, is that a, so is that a linear function? <laughs> well, <laughs> no. <laughs> no it, it, well, it's no, it's it, 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 it part of this. I mean, part each part, you know, part of this graph is linear, but no, this is exponential. This yeah. is an exponential function, right? Yeah, uh, but, test, then, but then it's, it's, it's not, it's not a, it's not a, it's, it's not that simple. It's not a specific percentage every every year it's not like this savings account this certificate of a deposit will give you like three percent every year for sure it's not like that it, it depends some sometimes it increases faster than other times sometimes you get a higher percentage sometimes a lower so it's not a it's not a specific you know exponential uh, growth with a perfect percentage rate the percentage rate changes each year basically right um, anyway 15 or no, here we go. Yeah. Do you expect a number of 50? This one. Do you expect the number of blogs to grow without any limit? So what do we answer for that? Anyone has an answer to that? Um, I answered, but I don't know if it's it's right. I just said from the latest data on the graph, there was a decrease from May to July in 2006, which then levels out with zero growth. I expect that zero growth to continue based on the latest data. Right, right. So, so, so. So but now that you said like it, it's right. like reversed, I don't know what right, the hell to think right. anymore. Right. So so yeah, this it's it's a it's a it's a, again it's a funny graph, but but good point. I mean that would be correct if if it was if it was if we had on the x-axis like the number of blogs, but it's not. This graph is not that simple. So as it's going up, it's saying it's taking longer for the number of blogs to double. So as it's going up, 
um, the growth is is slower. <laughs> when it's down here, the growth is faster. So again, yeah. So um, so and then then that question fifteen is almost like some type of philosophical question. Um, you know, you could answer it in the case of well, no, because at some point there'll be no blogs at all because we'll be doing something else. We'll have like the internet in our brains or something. I, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Like, I mean, at some point, you know, so, so I don't, I mean, you, could, you guys could ask that question anyway, but they, it's slowing down. The, I mean, anything along the lines of it's actually slowing down is correct because it is, at the, the whole point is as this line goes up, it means that the, the, the number of blogs is actually, the, the increase of blogs is actually slowing down because as it goes up, it's taking longer to double. So I would say, you know, it's 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 probably gonna it, it may well go up from here a little bit. It looks like it is anyway, right? And so it's gonna take longer, you know, to double the amount of blogs. In other words, the the amount of blogs that the, the the increase of blogs is 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 getting slower, right? 